CBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Since we last chatted, the winter storm warning has filled in to cover the Upper Peninsula as well. So it looks like we're all going to get clocked with some snow. In general, the 6 to 9 inch range for most of our towns. Although for the North Shore and the South Shore, the snow belts of our region, it could be 9 to 12 there. We'll show you the chart in just a little bit. But right now, let's take a look at what's happening in the here and now. There's a live picture of I-35 and the snow starting to come down and the traffic is slowing down as well. Current temperature 15 degrees above zero. For the short term, we're going to warm up. It won't be until Sunday that we start to cool down again when Arctic high pressure takes over from the Western low pressure system that'll have us tonight and for most of Saturday. Easterly wind, it's going 13 miles per hour. This is going to be a windy system. Easterly, southeasterly through tomorrow with gusts of going 25 miles per hour, if not even higher than that. Air pressure at the surface still on the high side, but it's going to be going down as that low pressure system from the west and the south tracks in for the next oh, probably at least 18 hours. Current temps, again, uh, take these with a grain of salt because they'll be changing rapidly with frontal passage. 20 waters beat 18 Ashland, 18 in Superior as well. Same deal for Moose Lake. Low teens for much of the iron ranges here. As warm as 17 currently towards border country, 18 Silver Bay. Temperatures may go up in the next couple hours for a few degrees and then fall rapidly early on tomorrow as the cold front comes to call on the backside of the low pressure system. So they'll be up, they'll be down, and then come Sunday, they'll really start to go down with our next Arctic intrusion. Well, the Doppler map right now shows from the south and the west, the snow has finally started to make its presence in our region. And it's on the lighter side, sure, but it's going to be on the persistent side and should pick up in intensity perhaps after 9 o'clock here tonight. As our low pressure system continues its trek from Minnesota into Wisconsin and into the Upper Peninsula as well, the snow chance, it's 100%. So if just by some odd chance you haven't seen any yet, you're going to by about this time tomorrow. Looking at the map for tomorrow, our low pressure system keeps that 100% chance for the snow going in our area. And then by tomorrow night, it starts to fade away and Arctic high pressure comes back to call beginning on Sunday. So we'll start to clear up slowly perhaps on Sunday, but we'll also start to cool down. By Martin Luther King Jr. Day, well, like it often is, it'll be sunny and fairly brisk as far as the temperatures go. Now, how far will the snow go? Here's my map here. I do think most of us will run from six to nine inches and closer to the lake, probably closer to the nine inches. So eight or nine inches, I think, here for Duluth and Superior up the North Shore and for the snow belt of the South Shore, nine to 12 plus. Again, the plus throw on those uh, higher elevation towns that get that extra influence from the lake when systems like this pass by. Okay, let's move now to the forecast for tonight in Minnesota. Low temps, again, take those with a grain of salt in the teens in general. And in Wisconsin, Michigan, oh, about 17 to 22 at least briefly. Snow likely for all zones, again, just in case you haven't seen it yet. Highs early on tomorrow, Wisconsin, Michigan, mid 20s, then they tumble. More snow till about dinner time tomorrow. Minnesotans get more snow till about dinner time tomorrow as well. Highs early on in the 20s, and then the temps fall as the cold front slices through pushed along by the Arctic high pressure system, which starts to clear us up on Sunday and cool us down. There we go for Monday and Tuesday, sunny, but five below for the lows, around 10 or so for the highs. And then come midweek next week, Anthony, another low pressure system. It's a, it's an ever revolving door around here, isn't it? From high to low to low to high, and the next low comes to call with another round of snow perhaps by midweek next week. That's the cycle of the Northland at this time of year. Yeah, what's that saying from the Lion King? <laughs> the Hakuna circle, Matata? There you go. The circle <laughs> of weather life. There we go. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> well, Montel